Lighting a candle is a simple yet profound act. <clears throat> it is a testimony to the power of light over darkness. The light of just one candle can push away the darkness. As we light this first candle of Advent, we begin our journey to Christmas. The first candle of Advent is called the hope or prophecy candle. As we anticipate Christmas, let us remember those who first spoke the promise of the coming Christ child. But you, Bethlehem, Ephrathah, though you are small among the clans of Judah, out of you will come for me one who will be ruler over Israel, whose origins are from of old, from ancient times. Therefore the Lord himself will give you a sign. The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son, and will call him Emmanuel. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the greatness of his government and peace there will be no end. He will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom, establishing and upholding it with justice and righteousness from that time on and forever. The zeal of the Lord Almighty will accomplish this. Like the prophets of old, God's people are called to have hope in God through the birth, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. I wait for the Lord. My whole being waits, and in his word I put my hope. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. And again, Isaiah says, The root of Jesse will spring up, one who will arise to rule over the nations. In him the Gentiles will hope. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In his great mercy, he has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. <laughs>